Morning everyone, we're going to a Subbit's house today to do some testing. We'll go and get James. We're in a bit of a rush today. We've got a lot, <coughs> got a lot of work on. I know a lot of tradesmen have got a lot of work on. So we've got to crack on. If we find anything interesting, we will show you. So guys, a quick word from our video sponsor today, ITS. So ITS have opened an outlet store, which is home of massive savings up to 70% off. All of their surplus stock, hand tools, power tools, workwear and accessories and more. There's literally hundreds of things on there to get a discount on. And also at checkout, don't forget CJR truck code. Th that code will be ending this month. One example that I've picked out is this four amp power battery from DeWalt, only 40 pound plus VAT. They're also doing a charger for 10 pound plus VAT. And if you order before 7 p.m., you get it to home or site the next working day. Enjoy the video. All right, here we are. So potentially, further down the line with this one, the client's going to want an EV charger. Um, bearing that in mind, this is what we've got. Um, an old Contactum 16th edition board. You've got one RCD. They've had some work here. If you see, these cables have been extended because it looks like he's taken the 32 from here, from this section of the board, which is no RCD. They've done work, so great. He's, at least he's got it on the RCD side of things. What we're going to do, rather than show you this entire process, we're probably just going to film um, a couple of a couple of circuits. Quite interesting. People like to see the testing, so we're going to do a couple of circuits. First one we're going to do is this. So if you look at it, we've got a 32. We've got a 608, 98, 32 amp uh, breaker here. Uh, what we're going to do first is um, go up, disconnect it, check the connections. Um, and then we're going to run through some tests for you. How are you, James? Good. He's got a bad foot because he's been playing football and he got cropped. Yes. Because he was the tallest guy on the pitch, he got picked on. <laughs> so, okay, we've got, look, here we go. Six mil, leaving the board, feeding a shower pump, which is just there. So there's no load on this shower. There's no need for that to be a six mil, okay? It could have just been a 2.5. So to me, James, that comes down in six mil. Bearing this is fed, this is protected by a 32. That doesn't look like six mil to me, does it you? No. Looks like 2.5. So you're gonna to have to unscrew that one as well, mate. Yeah. Just so we can see what the connections are in that one, yeah? Sure, yeah. Right, well, James is just um, disconnecting that one. So I'll just go through this. So we got circuit reference two. Designation is the shower. Type of wiring, okay, is gonna be A, so it's PVC, PVC cables. Most domestic properties are going to be that, okay? Reference method is limitation because we don't know how it leaves that fuse board as an installed. So it's in the fabric of the building, so that goes down as a limitation. I'll put that on my front sheet. Number of points is two because we've got shower pump and we've got the, um, was it James, the bath? Yeah. It's, a, it's a power bath. So it leaves the board in six mil, 2.5 twin and earth. It's backed up by a 60898 with six KA braking capacity, and it's rated at 32 amps. We've got a TNCS, so we're zero, TNCS, so we're 0 0.4, and RCD is non-applicable, okay? So then we're gonna start working through some circuits. Because we've got a radial, we don't have to do ring final circuit uh, continuity, end to end, because we haven't got that, but we're gonna now carry out uh, an R1, R2, first to make sure that the cable going from the board to the actual uh, spur itself is um, is in one complete, um, what can I say, one complete length and there's no breaks in it basically. Right, so what they've done, I'll put my light on for you quickly, so you can see, they have jammed a bit of six mil um, coming in and then they've tagged off with 2.5. Uh, I know it's petty, but is that 2.5 rated at 32 amps? No. Is this ever going to pull 32 amps? No. But I've still got to put it down on the sheet. Um, I know he said that he doesn't use this bath, so it might be just a simple case of disconnecting this spur to save the paperwork, basically, on this one. But we'll disconnect to here and then we'll test um, our R1, R2 continuity to here. Right, what we're effectively doing is creating a loop 
between the live R1 and the CPC, which is R2, okay? So what we have to do is link them out. Ideally, you wanna find the actual cable itself. Of course, you could be reading a parallel path and you might not have a true CPC up to your point. So we're gonna measure down the R1, back down the R2, and that's gonna give us a resistance reading. You can also do the neutral, uh, which is good. It just shows you've got no loose connections on the neutral, because we all know that's the one likely to burn out. Okay, so you can do the RN test as well. So we'll just set this up. I'm just gonna link out from this one up to, I'm gonna dig out this, look, I'm gonna dig out this CPC, and then I'm gonna link them out uh, up this board here. And then James can do a reading at the board up at the spur, we'll, we'll show you that. Right, I've linked out um, R1, R2. Oh, so I've dug that one out. It should be in number two. This will tell us if this board is in the correct order now. So we're now gonna go up and see James. We're gonna take the padding of I, I certify. I certify, what is it, James? I certify. I certify, that's the software that we use to I certify. Uh, are you ready? Are you ready, James? So turn on your little, so we're going one click continuity. It's a good tester. One, it's so it's so easy not to get it right, you know. Yeah. They've put the buttons in the correct sequence of tests, yeah? So link out your, link these out, and we're just gonna see if we got a null. So keep there, mate. Where is it, continuity null. Which one? That one, that's it. Get them together, James. Naughty boy. There we go, that's what you want to start with, zero, 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 so you know you're reading the resistance of this cable and not your leads. So all he's going to do, let me just put a torch on for you, mate. Please. There you go. So I go in there, look. Put that in there, look. There you go. He's linking out between the red and the earth connection. Can you, you want to get that out a bit? Yeah. Go here, actually. Go here, end of line, end of line. So... In there. I'll test it. Um, yeah, this button has... This tester has got a button on it, but we just like to press it, don't we? You on? Yes. So 0 0.18, so we now know the resistance is 0 0.18 of the live and the new, uh, live and earth put together, and the CPC that I've identified at the board is the correct one for this circuit, so we know that's in order. So the only observation on this circuit is going to be this bit of 2.5, yeah? So what we can do now is work through this test sheet. I don't know if you can actually read that with this camera, but we're gonna to go to insulation resistance now. Ideally, you would like to do it at 500 volts. Um, you can um, do it at 250 if you've got like a million LED lamps plugged in and you you think you're gonna like damage something and you haven't got time to unplug them all. Um, if you read the book, it does say don't cause damage to um, property and also don't don't create a fault by disconnecting too much stuff, yeah? So we're going to do this at 500 because all we've got is these two accessories here. We can isolate at these spurs. Um, I'm going to check their double pole so they isolate the neutral as well. If they do, we can then do our insulation resistance up the board up to here. And we're checking the insulation of the cable uh, that there's no contact uh, between any of the cores and the readings should be greater than 2 mega ohms. Anything better is a bonus, yeah? So this is the neutral bar that corresponds with this half of the board. And then this is the neutral bar here that corresponds with the RCD side of the board. And I can see straight away, number one is gonna be associated with that and then the cable's too short. So he's put it into number seven. So just for the purpose of this test, you can leave these connected in. So you're checking parallel paths and stuff. But just for this to show you, we're disconnecting these three cables associated with this circuit so we can carry out an insulation resistance test. And it's good practice for James as well. Uh, to do a little bit of testing. Right, I'm in my favourite place. James is freaking not in the loft again, but it ain't too bad up here. So we were setting up the perfect scenario. We just connected the spurs in there. We wanted perfect readings, yeah. We were trying to show you the perfect way to do it. We couldn't get... Um, we had 0 0.2 um, mega ohms. Okay, so that's a fail, live to neutral. I then jumped in the loft. There's the cable that runs along here. And then I thought, well, there's two. So someone has, let me just move some of this stuff. Someone has kindly bodged a, a switch in, in the loft, look, with a pull cord, James. Not even you could have reached this one. 
and it's on, okay? So that must run, this must, this must be an old electric shower they've converted to a pump, yeah? It then runs, what's that? What the freaking hell's that? What is that? Oh God, oh no, what is that? I think there's a Sparky that used to live here, I'm not sure. Junction box. Oh, it's horrible up here. Um, I don't know where that six mil runs. That that must come, so there's a big loop, and then it drops down to you. So if I turn this isolation switch off up here, James, that's now off. So this is the isolation switch to kill the isolation switch, James. Friggin' nightmare, innit? Um, so now we'll go back downstairs, mate. Good. We'll keep the camera on. Keep roll. No, I got it. Keep rolling. We'll keep rolling. I can edit this out, James. You'll leave it in. I can edit, this, leave out, it in. I can edit <laughs> this out. Go back downstairs with the tester. Okay, Down there, yeah. And now we should get clear readings across the board, mate. Across the board. Be quick, quick, quick. So I don't want to edit it. Quick, 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 quick. Fast forward. 250, yeah. Do it at 250 first. We do it at 250 for a safe. Uh, it's like a fail safe, yeah? Yeah. In case there is something in it, like there was just then. So live and neutral, he's going to go between. He's then going to press test on his tester. And now we should get clear. So he's reading the neon, James. So run up to now 500. Okay. Great. So now we can put insulation resistance greater than 500 mega ohms. Okay. So now, mate. Yeah. So live and neutral. Now you want to go between live and earth. So 500, now live and earth. Greater than. And now you want to go between neutral and earth. So this is just showing you one little test we have to do. Greater than 500, cool. So that's, so that's um, that circuit's perfectly electrically sound. What we're gonna do now is, the only thing is, he's got that stupid pull cord in the loft, which they could get rid of, couldn't they? They could just drop that cable straight down yeah. to the spur. Um, we'll let the client know that there's a isolation switch in the loft. Um, and now all we've got to do is put this circuit back together and do some maximum measured ZSs at the last point. <laughs> right, um, we've connected that back in and um, it's, it's on. We're in the house empty, doors are locked. James isn't stupid. I'm competent, I'm watching him, so there's no chance anyone can duck the news board, yeah? Just work safely, yeah, and be smart. So James, come up. So as you can see now, what we've done, because the client said he doesn't use this and to save me messing about with this paperwork, I've disconnected that spur and I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna forget about that because he doesn't use a stupid hydro bath anyway. So we're now going to do a test here. James, you've got to go in the loft, mate, and um, turn that stupid isolation switch on in the loft. <laughs> What's that? Pull what? The pull, cord. pull it, mate. Pull it. Yeah, hold the base a bit and pull it. That's the stupid old isolation switch. So we're back on. We should be back on. So if I put this on hands-free, everyone always says to me, the mega's got hands-free. Yeah, this is... It's also got hands-free, yeah? Relax. So we're missing a neutral. That's what that's telling me. Now I'm going to do a test. ZS. See what we've got at this furthest point, yeah? There we go. 0 0.27. It's just gone off the tester for some reason. But 0 0.27, James. You can mark that down. And that is this circuit complete. We can't do an RCD because this is on the side, which is non RCD. It does technically feed a shower that is feeding the bathroom, but it's a pump. It's not located in the bathroom. So um, it's, it's a bit of a gray area. Uh, you could put it down as a C2 if you wanted to. <clears throat> you could put it down as a C3 recommendation. I think the client's gonna want the board changed here anyway. So we had 0 0.27 on our ZS at the fuse connection unit. Our R1R2 was 0 0.18. If you then go back to the board schedule, 
So you can click That's that one. one. Yeah. What was our income in ZS at board? 10. 0 0.1. 0 0.10. So if you add 0 0.10 to 10. our R1, R2, was yeah. it 0 0.28? Yeah. So we're 0 0.1 difference, which is perfect, yeah? So it's yeah. all adding up. All the science, yeah. electrical science adding up. So that ZS, you can minus the um, R1, R2. That gives you the ZS at the board, yeah? Yeah. ZE. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. So what I was saying earlier, there's a little telltale sign that they've shifted that circuit over. Look, ring main, they shifted it over to this side of the board just to give it some RCD protection. Just fair play, at least he's done that. So we're going along swimmingly. I'm trying to code up as I go. I'll just show you what I've got to at the minute. Um, you have to skip through all this to get to it. Um, remember, I've coded these on site. I might change these when I get home. So I've put... Consuming it made of combustible material located in the hallway, only means of escape, C3, could be a C2. No RC protection on multiple circuits, feeding, lighting and uh, lighting and the shower in the wet areas, C2. Shower pool cord is located in the loft, not accessible and floating, not fixed, C3. Shower cable not clipped or trunked in the air and covered, C3. Smoke detectors need replacing and out of date, C3. Smoke detector cable, single insulation on show behind the ceiling void, only terminated into connectors, C2. We're now moving on to the upstairs lighting. We found end of line. We're going to do an R1, R2 there first. And then we're going to go around and check some of the roses and stuffs. I just wonder which way it goes in. What's doesn't, that? doesn't, does it? Um, do the... Oh, you could do it at the thing, couldn't you? No, you can't because there's no earth. You have to do it with the two leads, mate. R1, R2. And then do the ZS with the probes. We've got the new QTEC... Um, we've got the new QTEC testing... Um, probes which are quite good for doing tests at the lamps and stuff yeah bc doesn't matter because it's two yeah. probes that's why it's not marked up but the others do matter yeah like edison screw yeah center pin to the live james if it's not then you can touch the outer tuck and get a shock yeah nice exactly so we, we'll show you those in a minute right this is how easy it is to so that's beeping at you james because you've got no earth connection so keep that on there mate nice and tight Give it a test. One point three six, and this is the QTEC uh, adapter we're using. So it gives you a three hand, doesn't it, as well? <laughs> Jesus. Unplug that, mate. Superb, James. One point three six. Yes. We we'll record that, but you can go round and do a couple more. Yeah. Yeah. Just to make sure, and then we'll uh, record the highest. So one check we always do when we're here, we're isolated. Okay, so we can remove this bar. There you go, James. See the color of that one, James? It's nice and coppery. Look at that one, black. I don't think it's missed the gates. I don't think, I, I wonder if it's loose. It's not loose. That's weird, isn't it? It's not weird. Why is it so black? No, it's completely black, like it's been, like it's been burnt. Look, that's very strange. I don't know why. And that, see how hot that is under there. That, mm. so that means that's had a lot of load on that. Look at the colour. So that's they're gonna have to go down as a C two, yeah. Yeah. Because that's actually got thermal, actually, actually got thermal damage, isn't it? it does. Look, nasty, mate, nasty. Hmm. So yeah, on further inspection, can you see there, someone has completely missed the gate on the MCB for the cooker. Look at that. Whoa, whoa that one's completely missed. So we will rectify that today for the client, but it's nice to get it on camera, isn't it, James? Very nice. So I bet, I bet if I just do that, that, if I undo that, this is always a nice little test. So I can undo that, and that moves. <laughs> Look, yeah. then you know there's something going on. Look, Jesus. Lucky, isn't it? Lucky that hasn't burnt out, to be fair. Unless, do you know what I reckon's happened? I reckon they've moved this buzz bar out. I reckon that was the one that was maybe burning. Look at the colour of that. Oh, when he's that. messed about with this. Mm. Yeah, naughty boy. I've just been called into action by James. He's doing some visuals. What have you found, mate? That light switch just there. 
yet. Nice. It's because it's so tight, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And that, can you get that one out? Come on. You got excited, didn't you? You just wanted to call me straight yeah. away. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> what was that? What's this fell out of there? Oh, it's a screw. Yeah. All right, yeah, look, there you go. So they need tightening up. So there's no indication on these, yeah? To be fair though, mate, there's, there's tons of, um, there's tons of thing in there. 